Hey guys, so today I have for you my video on the newest Kat Von D palette, which is the Interstellar palette. Um, this is a part of her spring line, even though it's already out, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that was like advertised alongside with this. But if you're familiar with Kat Von D launches, nothing ever launches all at the same time. It's usually pops up on the website over the span of like a month or so. Um, there is a contour face palette and an eye palette. They're both called um, Shade and Light, so it's Shade and Light Face and Shade and Light Eye. Um, and then there's a double-ended face brush that comes in a coffin case, which I'm so excited about. <laughs> it just looks like the coolest thing. And a face primer as well. So those are the things I've seen floating around the internet so far. I don't know if she has anything else coming out, but those are the things I've seen. So this one is the same size, it's the same format as the Butterfly Effects palettes, the Monarch one and the Chrysalis one. Um, I do, I miss the old packaging, I am going to say that. The, the rubberized packaging and even the tin packaging like this that she used to have that just like pops open. I don't know, I just, these were more compact, that's for sure, but you didn't get as many eyeshadows. Um, I don't know, there's pros and cons to each one, but the thing I miss most is that it doesn't really have, like, I'm sure she designed these, this one and the butterfly ones, but it doesn't have, like, her drawing, her artwork on it like the other ones did. Um, the metal ones even had, like, her, her art on them, so, um, it is cool that this one is, like, holographic and everything, but, well, not really holographic, it's just silver and reflective, but the whole theme is, like, astrology, outer space, so this is like, it looks like planets and everything, and then the back is also reflective and it has all the color names, so I'm going to show you it. It has a big mirror in it like the other ones do, and just like the other, um, just like the Butterfly FX palettes, there are three larger base shades, which are like double the size of the normal shades, and then nine regular eyeshadows, so when I first saw a picture of this, I didn't get that excited over it because it looks a lot like the Chrysalis palette. So I'm going to show you that actually side by side, just so you can see. Um, once I saw it in person, I n realized that it's really not identical, <laughs> but just at first glance you might think that it's pretty close. So. Um, this top one is Interstellar, and the bottom one is the Chrysalis, so definitely kind of similar, but once you see it in person, not really, because the colors are all different. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to get into talking about them here. This one is called Gravitron, and it looks like a pale, like purpley pink in the pan, but it's one of those colors that's like... Um, an iridescent kind of reflective color shifting pink pearly pink it is pouring out right now so I hope you can't hear the rain dripping off the gutter but my camera isn't usually that um, sensitive to background noise so hopefully that's not annoying when I go back and edit this um, this one is called vast oh hold on I got a piece of hair there uh, this is vast and that is like a kind of like a taupe with a satin finish really pretty color this is a good like transition crease color that's what that one looks like I'm gonna insert the swatch pictures as well just so you can see better ones because I know my uh, I like to do live swatches just so you can see if something is like shimmery you can see the shimmer in it or if it's a duochrome and then we have lichen which is just a matte cream I think pretty much all her palettes have a cream shade like this which is good because I like to use it as a highlighter most of the time probably not even gonna be able to see it uh, you can a little bit all right and then we get into the normal shades um, this one is Nightcrawler. I'm going to start at this end. And this one is like, 
It's another taupe shade. It is matte, but it's got like a grayish tinge to it. I'm trying to get a good swatch here. That's really pretty. I think I have another shade like this and I use it all the time. I can't remember what palette it's in, but... Um, then we have Dios. And this one is a gray with like a purple sheen to it. This one's actually a really unique color. You can't really see the purple sheen to it until it's swatched. Because I couldn't tell in the pan. And then when I swatched it, I was like, oh, that's really pretty. Hopefully you'll be able to tell. Um, Lunacy is a mid-tone purple. Um, this one's kind of a satiny finish. And this one's weird because it looks really dark in the pan, and then you swatch it and it's not that dark. And then I have, that's what is on the outer corner, the outer corners of my eyes today, and it came out darker when I used the brush, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> that's what that one looks like. And my hand was still wet, so that's kind of a crappy swatch. Let me make sure I dry them. Um, Astrological is this one right here. This one is a, more of a satin finish, and this is like a true lilac color. If you're looking for a lilac color that is not super powdery like so many matte lilacs are, this is, well it's not matte, like I said it has a shimmer, uh, satin finish to it, but it's such a nice lilac shade. That's what that one looks like. And then, um... I was smart this time. I have the the um, names written down instead of trying to look at the back of it all the time. Um, this one is Dark Star, and it's like a deep metallic blackened purple. I want to say that was in the Holiday palette, wasn't it? No, that was Black Star. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so I guess these are all new shades. Um, oh, I didn't. Just like a blackened metallic purple. Very cool looking shade. And it's got like little teeny tiny shimmers in it, but that's what that one looks like. Um, Orion is just a matte brown. That's this one right here. Kind of like a a chocolate brown shade. Sorry, I keep forgetting to show that first. It kind of looks like her color leather, which at this point she's got so many colors, I don't doubt that they're just renaming ones that they've already used. Um, and then 3AM, this is what is on my lid today. This is such a pretty color. It's like a metallic champagne beige. That one. I love, 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 love this color. And of course, you're not going to be able to see the metallicness. Yeah, there you can. That's like a giant swatch, but <laughs> I wanted you to be able to see the shine that it has. That's probably going to be like my most used shade out of this. Then we have Moonshine, which she's had some silvers before, but this is like the most metallic silver that has ever been in one of her palettes. It's just like um, one of those tin foil crazy reflective silvers. And then the last one is Killing Moon. It's a matte black. She's had a bajillion matte blacks in her palettes, but um, this one is really, really dark. It's just like Lucifer used to be in her old palettes. It's like charcoal ridiculous black. <laughs> So that's what that one looks like. If you want a super dark black, this is a very good option. It does want to stain a little bit, I noticed, but super awesome dark matte black. And I will mention that this, um, I should have said this first actually, this is right on par with the quality of the um, the Butterfly Effects palettes. I know a lot of people were worried after the um, what was it called? The studded, star studded palette for the holidays that her quality was going down. It was, to me anyway, it was really only um, these two 
Gothica and Fascination Street that did not perform at all. Like the the matte one is just horrible. You can't. It's like hard pan, and you can't get any color off of it. And then the Gothica glittery one is just like gritty, no color payoff. But I didn't have a problem with anything else in this palette, so. I believe this is on sale in Sephora right now for 28 bucks, so that is a steal because all the other shadows other than those two are awesome in this palette. Um, but yeah, I didn't have any duds like that in this palette. These are all nice and creamy like her, her um, eyeshadows usually are. Uh, I will mention they're not as like powdery as her shadows have been in the past. Like when you go to stick your brush in there, it doesn't... Um, kick up as much powdery product. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that, but um, but they still have that same creaminess to them and that the blendability that I love in the Kat Von D shadows. So, um, like I said, her other stuff is coming out. I was gonna wait until like the um, the contour palettes came out and everything and do everything at once, but I don't know when that's gonna come out. Uh, everything was slated for January, but for some reason this is already out, so um, for now, this is just the interstellar review slash swatch video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is on Sephora's website now for VIB Rouge, but I'm sure it's going to be available to everybody soon. Um, and that's it, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video.